So we're, in this video, we're going to talk about your springs. So the springs, you can get it from a couple different places, Ingalls Coach Shop or Vintage Cart Co. Um, you're going to need some parts to install it. So these plates go underneath the spring, and that's what holds your axle here with some U-bolts. Um, these are 3x3. Three three. I get these at a metal supply shop here in Phoenix. I think these are probably for fences, like a fence case that go in here and we bolt it to the ground, but it's pretty thick material, nice and heavy duty. You can scratch make that but it's easier to buy it already done. I think it's a dollar. Um, these are your shackles. So same thing, these are fence post parts. So these are three inches, two inch from the hole to hole. Two places these are gonna go, they're gonna go in the front to mount your spring, which you see here, right here. And they're also gonna go back here. Um, this is gonna get built, drilled in the frame and this is gonna get mounted. So when you do this, you wanna put this forward a little bit. If you put it straight up and down, it's not gonna work. If you put it back a little bit, that's where the I, mean, I can't press on the spring here, but that's what the swing action will be when it goes up and down. It's gonna, it'll, it'll travel. If you put it straight up and down, it's, it's going to be solid. Like it doesn't, it won't want to travel in a bind. So it's going to be a slight angle. It doesn't have to be a lot. Maybe you know half an inch or three quarters of an inch out of out of alignment, straight up and down. So we're not doing that right now. But what we're doing right now is setting up the front. So one of the keys to the front is the frame is one inch wide, and your springs are about an inch and a quarter. So, uh, one way to do that is to add some material. So, I bought these little small brackets. These are about an eighth inch each. Two of them gives you the quarter inch you need to make it wider. So, what I've done on this side, I've already welded on one of these brackets on each side. You see the kind of the hole there. So, welded here, welded here. Now, when I weld on this part, it's exactly the right dimension. So, back up a little bit there. This one's already set up. I've already kind of tack this in place and the bolts in here so that fits right in there nice so you see the two pieces this hole is going to get welded solid you're not going to see that hole when we're done so this thing fits in here just perfect whether you use vintage cart co or ingles this is an ingles one this is for my first car because my other springs aren't here yet there's no bushings in these um, but the bolts fit fine with that it doesn't really seem to affect it <laughs> so anyway, so that's the mock-up of that. So I'm going to finish welding that and do both sides. And then once we get that done, I'll have to modify the floor. Because like I said, this is going to interfere with the floor a little bit. So that's what's next. Oh, and one, one other thing. The bolts, the ones that I'm using are 3 8 inch by 2 and a half inch. And you want to use a nylock uh, on the bolt so that it doesn't rattle loose. These things vibrate quite a lot. So uh, here we go, more fun to come. Okay, so last night we had a lot of progress. I got the whole front end welded up, both sides all cleaned up and ready to go, and I drilled the hole. So the way I establish where this hole goes, you see there's an index mark here at the front. So I just brought the piece up, about a half, <coughs> half inch, I put a half inch line across here so I knew that's where the bolt was gonna go. And I had a stitch, measured, measure that was straight and square perpendicular marked it with a marker, pulled it down, and marked a straight line up here. Then I just measured over one inch. So I just brought it over one inch, and that's where I drilled the hole. So I should probably do less than one inch, but one inch is what I have on my other two carts, and it seems to work great. And being low down here, the purpose for that is to make sure you get travel in your suspension. So this bolt's a little tight, so these things don't flop around. You don't want them that tight because then the suspension won't travel. It has to have some ability to move. So let me just bolt in here. There we go. So the idea is that this will pivot. So as, you, as it compresses, that will, that will pivot. You have to have room in there for it to pivot. I've seen some guys where this bolt is almost touching here, which means their suspension really doesn't have any function. The, the spring can't move. The spring can't move, it doesn't do any good. Now, some guys think stiffer springs are better. I like having a little spring in the front, it just gives it, softens the road a little bit more. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions on the front suspension, uh, I forgot to mention, I think I showed earlier, this is, this bolt's down here. Uh, actually, this is the one from, this one's dirty, but this is the one from my other car, so. Basically, this goes here and your axle is going to go through here. So it's really not that complicated. 
Um, you don't have to mount this permanent here. You have to index it. Once you bolt it all down and smash it or clamp it, it doesn't go anywhere. I've driven mine for three years and it hasn't rotated or moved. Some guys, have, their suspensions have moved when they've wrecked or something, which is not a bad thing. If you make it too stiff, if you wreck, you'll break something. It's better for it to slide a little bit. Does that make sense? So it'll, it'll move if you do have an accident so instead of breaking something or breaking a spring or bending parts. So that's that for this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you like our video, subscribe. We'll have some more coming up on the rest of this build. Thanks again.